If you believe the reported recap is all about pictures, you're not wrong. It is, but it's also very much about the story each picture tells. They are the stories of frightening crashes and devastating fires that give us cause for concern. They're also the stories of Amber's first birthday and the 100th day of school at Tashua and Tisco Elementary Schools that give us reason to smile. How workers at a New Haven company wore red for women. How kids at a New Haven school raised money for Smilo. And how this little girl woke up with a serious case of bedhead. This week, a lot of the stories you shared featured animals, the little birds that landed on Morley's porch in Shelton, and the rather large one that landed on Mike's. Margie in East Lime and Sherry in Waterbury hope, despite what the groundhog said, the robins they spotted signal an early start to spring. We saw happy endings to the stories of squirrels hunting for snacks, a deer doing the same, and the legend of Shelton's traffic dodging turkey grows in this video from Dino. You shared stories of your pets as well, the cats who had enough of this winter, like Tony with the glare, and Mateo staying warm on the radiator. And you showed us the dogs who can't seem to get enough of it. Another week of pups basking in the glow of what winter has had to offer. Tiring themselves out by playing like Cloudy, getting covered like Wiggles, sledding like Snuggles, and bundling up like Lexi, Molly, and Piper. Alicia and Michaela, their people, got bundled up too to build a snow fort in Waterbury. We expected plenty of snow videos and snow photos, snow stories this week, and we got them, including Emily's favorite shot from a winter walk with Ian and his dad in Middletown. And Robert's great shot of the icicle just taking too long to melt in Killingworth. But how about the unexpected? The first person ride along as we went tubing with Greg. And the fire breathing dragon snow fort Stephen sent from Wallingford. <laughs> this is the Paparog Polywog, a snow tadpole created by Jeffrey in Southbury. We also saw a bunny, a cake, a maze, school pride, and a prom proposal. But our favorite. This video of a snow-blowing Chewbacca who must have felt like he's back on Hawk. Awesome. Tough to top that one, but you can try. Send us your pictures, videos, story suggestions using WTNH.com or your News 8 app.